Here now is the completed uh, solid state conversion of the BC348 Model R. And uh, last video we showed that uh, we we're just getting started and had to remove all the wiring and uh, to get it ready for uh, the transistorized uh, products to go in. So let's take a look and see what it looks like on top here. And in the next video we'll do a demonstration. So as you can see, um, the tubes are removed and you can also see that there are some um, tube sockets that were turned upside down in order to wire them uh, much easier than if they were the uh, uh, position the original way. So there you can see some transistors and some uh, uh, ceramic capacitors and resistors and then there's the tuning units. Inside here is the local oscillator which has also been modified. First thing I did was test that, uh, that out and it did put out um, proper frequency. Let's turn the light back on. And we'll take a look underneath, Let's see what it looks like. Okay, they're still heavy. All right, so this is the bulk of where all the work has been done. Um, and you can see that uh, everything is solid state. Here's the power transformer, a 25 volt AC transformer, in, installed a uh, DC regulator and there's a little kit, put it together and really well made. And let's see here, well, we keep the tuning units in the tuning capacitor. We did not remove that, we kept them intact. Uh, so let's turn around and take a look at the other side here. Okay. Let's see if we can do this without dropping it. Okay, the other side shows the back of the tuning units. And then, of course, uh, this is where the old dynamotor used to go. So let's take a look from this side here. And again, you can see... Oh, I did put the RF chokes on top. You can see in there there's three RF chokes uh, that are on top. It was just easier to wire them on top kind of liked it. And I did the same thing with these. Uh, the RF chokes are on the other side. Um, the next video will show how it operates. We'll see you then.